Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 55. Today we're going to be looking at the model view matrix. So the previous episode we looked at the model matrix and then the view matrix as two different matrices. And what the model view matrix is, is both of them uh, put together in, in one. So our current, or our previous uh, vertex shader looks something like this, where we had a view matrix and a model matrix passed in. We multiplied them together per the formulas in the previous episode, and we set the jail position based off that. What we're going towards is a single matrix that has the same data within this model view matrix multiplied out. So let's see what differences we really have. Now within the entire application, we basically have nothing different from the previous episode other than our draw function. So let's go look what we have. We're going to grab only the model view matrix uniform. It's very standard. And then what we're going to be doing is we have a, a matrix 4x4 here that we're creating. We're going to call MVM for model view matrix. We're going to go ahead and set the look at of the MVM. Then we're going to go ahead and set the out and the in as well for the rotation of the same. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and set that as the uniform matrix for uh, FV. And so if we compare this to the previous episode, we have two different uniforms, two different matrices, one for the view matrix and one for the model matrix. We would set the view matrix separate from setting the model matrix, each of them being uh, input separately. And then we would set them according to the uniforms that they uh, reply to. So the only difference here is we're just reusing the same um, matrix, but doing the operations in the same order where we have the view and then the model so that we get the correct uh, set up the multiplication and get the exact same functionality and some same matrices. So that's really all there is to it. Um, this allows you to have a little less overhead with memory and um, make things just be a little bit tidier. And uh, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, uh, share it on social media if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and Sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.